Hey guys, it's Mauricio, and today we're going to learn how to uh, set up a paper Minecraft uh, server on Mac uh, for 1.15.2. It's probably the easiest thing I've ever done in my life. Uh, before we start, uh, make sure you have a uh, Minecraft. Uh, super important. Some would say it's impossible uh, to do without it. Uh, and then the other thing is you're going to need the softwares uh, to run not only Paper Minecraft, but if uh, you're trying to do uh, a Forge server or create a vanilla or just a lot of things uh, in, in terms of Minecraft applications, you're going to need uh, two things. You're going to need the Java development kit. Uh, for Mac users, it's important to get uh, eight. I'm not sure about Windows. Um, I think it's also important for Windows, but uh, if you don't get the 8, whenever you try to open up jars, uh, it's a, it's a crapshoot. You don't know if it's actually going to work. Uh, and I'm going to post a video on how to change uh, which Java version you're using if you don't want to, if you have multiple and you need to change the default later. If you want to see that video, just put that in the comments and I'll hurry up on that. Uh, and then for another thing, you're going to need uh, this Java, and I'm going to put links for both of these into, into the description. Uh, and so you're going to want to just hit this button right here, and then you're going to go uh, get a DMG uh, in your downloads, and you're going you're gonna to open it, and it's most likely going to say unverified uh, publisher, so then you're going to want to go to your... Uh, system preferences and then go to security and privacy and right here where it says allow apps downloaded from whenever you get that uh, will not open because it's not secure it'll a uh, thing will pop up here to hit ok and then you can open it and I'm very confident that you guys can uh, download this without me having to download it again so once you have those two things then what you're gonna want to do is make a folder And you can put it wherever you want. Um, I actually, this is should be your end product, but just for you guys, I'm gonna delete it so we can do this again together. Uh, so I'm gonna throw this into the garbage can. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna call mine paper because it's a paper Minecraft server, and it can really be anything that you want. Uh, and then the next step uh, that we need to do is go to the paper MC. Uh, downloads and luckily uh, no it took me a second to figure this out but anybody can download this it doesn't matter if you're using Mac uh, or Windows and I don't dabble in Linux so I have no idea but probably Linux as well uh, so you just we're doing 1.15.12 we're downloading this you're saving the file now the jar uh, for the jar you actually want to throw this into the file that you're going to be doing then you're going to open up paper and so then what we're going to do is double click the paper file and see that's where it's unidentified developer why thank you okay well time to do uh, i don't know why i keep doing that time to do exactly what i said earlier security and privacy uh open anyway yep i want the viruses no guys this is completely safe uh very legit now it should start populating your your folder so you just have to wait a second so once you have these five things you're going to want to open this with text edit and set eula equals true and save it uh, if you want to give your server an IP address, you'll go into server properties and see where it hits IP. And then you're going to want to go to your network settings, uh, which is also in system preferences. And you hit network and look for your IP address uh, right here. And you'll put that into server properties. Uh, so once you set this to true, now you're gonna want to do a start command file. Uh, and I'm actually gonna cheat because I already have a start command file. Uh, so I'm actually going to just copy it from my other folder. And this start command file, if you use multiple uh, servers, uh, is 
interchangeable. You just have to change the You just have to change the uh, the jar that you're accessing. And you're gonna wanna open up the text edit again. And if you're making your own start doc command file, make sure that you wanna go to text edit. Uh, actually, let me file new. Uh, and then you're gonna wanna format this and make plain text. And then you're gonna wanna copy what I have right here. Uh, onto your text document and then you're going to want to save it inside your inside your paper folder so that you can use it and you want to make sure it says start doc command no start doc command dot txt just start doc command so once you have that uh, delete you'll have this inside your folder and we're going to change the name to the actual jar file that we get which is paper dash two And then the next step is going going into your terminal. Uh, let's see. And you're gonna want to type chmod a plus x space, and then you're gonna want to start throw this start doc command here. Uh, Apple is very keen on privacy, so they make you go through many loops. So once you hit enter, then you're good to go. You can hit start doc command. And now it's going to start running and it's right now loading up your world. So it's going to take a second uh, because it's like, what the heck is happening? Uh, but the great thing about uh, paper, uh, which I should have probably mentioned earlier, is it just it run. It's optimized compared to bucket or spigot. And so it takes less of your computer's resources and it will just run much quicker and you'll be able to do a lot more uh, even with like less RAM allocated to it. Oh, and the other thing I didn't mention was that for the adding RAM to a paper server, uh, it's the same for all of these files uh, for your, your start doc command. What, what you wanna do is this four right here, uh, you have to change both to however many gigabytes of RAM you wanna add to your server. If you don't use the Java 8 development kit, this start.command will not be able to access the jar files. Uh, and it was something that took me forever to figure out. Uh, but once you figure it out, it's uh, very easy. Uh, and once you see done, uh, that's your server. And now all you need to do is go into Minecraft. Once you hit play, uh, when you start a server, you're here what you're going to want to do is going to type localhost and then that will allow you to connect to your server uh, you see here uh, now it's up because it's green uh, which is good so then you have your paper minecraft server and if you want to do port forwarding and such like that uh, you'll have to go to another video there are plenty uh, helping you with that and you'll have to do that server ip thing i mentioned earlier uh, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe and drop a like.